everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Natalie and my channel is all about luxury, vintage, fashion, and styling. So if you're interested in any of those, please consider hitting the subscribe button below. And today I'm gonna be reviewing the mini Le Favre A7 YSL bag. So the other day we were chatting bag trends over on my Instagram, which if you're not already following me over there, I'll pop it on the screen. Definitely do uh, lots more handbag chats and talks and links. Um, I share my daily outfits, my styling, good vintage finds. I'm most active over there, so definitely follow me if you're not already. But um, we were chatting handbag trends for this year, and we couldn't talk about it without, of course, talking about the Saint Laurent Le 5 a 7 Hobo bag. So this bag came out in spring of 2021, so it's been here for a couple years now. And it's definitely gaining popularity. I feel like I'm seeing it all over social media right now. I'm sure you guys are too. And so I really wanted to give it a try. I was super curious about it. And people were asking me my opinions, if I think it's worth it or not. So Rebag kindly let me borrow this bag so I could kind of check it out, check the specs out, and give you guys kind of an honest review of just my opinions. This is not like a sponsored video or anything. I just really wanted to try this bag out and let you know my honest thoughts. So here it is here. I do not personally own any Saint Laurent bags. I don't think, I'll have to think about it, but I don't think I do. Um, usually their bags are not really, I don't know, my style or they've never been like something that's really caught my eye. Of course, I'm more into vintage also, but um, even like the new versions, I don't know. Nothing caught my eye, but I do think that this is a very beautiful bag and there's a couple sizes. So this one right here that I've borrowed is the mini size. So you can tell it's very mini and we'll get into like what it fits in a minute. But um, yeah, there's the mini size, then there's the small size, which is the size up. Now that one compared to this does have an adjustable shoulder strap, which makes it nice because um, obviously this one doesn't. But so just on first impressions, um, it is in a smooth leather, as you can see which would scratch very easily. There's no scratches on this one. This one's um, pretty much in brand new condition, even though it was pre-loved. So the mini retails new for $16.90 and the small size retails for $2,400. These are definitely price increases from when it was first launched. I think the small size increased around like $700 since it first launched. So definitely a significant increase in price because of the popularity and that's just something that happens. So let's go over the little bit of the features of it. So this version has the YSL here and this is in kind of a um, antique gold color. There are a bunch of different versions. It comes in patent, um, it comes in silver, gold, um, and then obviously this comes in different colors, different leathers. There's also like embossed croc and that kind of thing. But the smooth leather is definitely their signature and it's very beautiful leather. I will say the quality of this is very nice just upon like my first glance and first impressions. And there is no zip pocket, it is just open right here. And the way to open it is the little L just slides out of here and opens up. And then you can access the inner pocket. Um, there's just one inner, pocket if you can see it is suede lined and then there's no little pockets or anything here it's just one compartment and very small I will say this is definitely a mini bag so you have to love mini bags to love this bag the smaller size definitely will hold a little bit more but I have heard that one as well it doesn't hold a ton and that's because of a structured bag like this they're never going to hold as much as something that's a little bit softer and has more give so you're not going to want to like you know put a bunch of bulky things in here that are going to like mess up the leather because over time that will warp it. So something to keep in mind, you're gonna have to really like pare down to the basics. So um, I have a case here just cause I'm filming on my phone, but a iPhone 14 Pro case, just to show you guys if that fits. So that fits in the mini, so that's good. It can fit a phone, which is like number one. A lot of my mini <laughs> bags actually don't fit a phone, which is, I mean, your phone's in your hand most of the time anyways, but it's just nice to have a bag that can hold your phone if you need it. So that can fit in there. Okay, I grabbed a couple things just to see what fits. So let's start with the card holder. This is just a random card holder. And actually I use a mini pochette um, from Louis Vuitton for my like kind of catch all. That definitely like will not fit in here. So here's just like a smaller card holder just to see. Okay, so we have the phone, the card holder, that fits. 
I have a little lipstick. Let's see if that fits. That definitely fits. And so from there, I'd say you could probably fit like small keys, like nothing bulky, but like a key could probably fit in there. And then that's about it. I probably wouldn't stuff much more in there. A pair of sunglasses would not fit. Let's see if I, you took out your phone. You can maybe fit a pair of sunnies without a hard case. It would have to be a soft case that you would use and then they couldn't be super bulky, but that's basically what fits in here. Um, you could probably just do like AirPods too as well, but you really have to like minimize what you're going to use to carry this bag. So I would say if you're looking for something that holds a little bit more, obviously go for the small size versus the mini. And then as far as going over the shoulder, as you can see, it is like not comfortable over the shoulder, honestly. And I'm a pretty petite woman. And so I feel like this is already like very tight. I think that the small size would fit a little bit better, but even the small size, I think with a coat, it would probably struggle to fit under your shoulder. So just keep that in mind. It would probably definitely be more of a like crook of the arm or handheld. Um, it fits, but it's just like, I don't feel like that would be super comfortable to wear around and you can see it, it like slides down a little bit over my shoulder. So what I'd say as far as my first impressions, I think it's a beautiful bag, but I just see a lot of like usage flaws. I feel like it's not a bag I could use a ton because of one, it's delicate leather. So it is going to scratch. And I just feel like automatically, even if you're like, okay, whatever, it's not a big deal. You still don't want to like scratch your bag and mess it up. And I feel like with those types of bags, I end up babying more and I just kind of save for special occasions versus using them like in my day-to-day -day life. So that's a con. I think that getting in and out, I mean, yeah, you could slip like your lipstick in and out, but it is a little bit fussy, especially given that it's not that secure. So if you're like walking, I mean, yeah, you could like get, you know, someone could get in or rob you or whatever. Um, it is easy to access. It's not the zip close all the way. So stuff could fall out it's also a pain to get in and out of so it's kind of like normally it's more of a pain to get in and out of if it's a more secure bag but this one's like not but also still hard to get into so that's a con for me I feel like I would just like leave it open but then it's like not cute that way you know it kind of like loses the look if you don't keep putting that in and out and I also think over time this will probably end up scratching the front of the leather um, just cause it is like the metal and then the soft, it's going to end up leaving some marks here over time. So just something to keep in mind, there's no feet. And so obviously over time, if you're putting that down on things, the bottom's going to get kind of scuffed and worn. So yeah, overall, do I think this bag is worth it? No, probably not. Maybe if you go for like, I'd say the patent one might be a little bit hard wearing, but then also patent has a lot of issues. Um, you start showing fingerprints and like you do still get scuffs and scratches and you have to be careful about how you store patents. So not necessarily with that, maybe in the mock croc version, it's a little bit more hard wearing. Um, I haven't checked out all of the leather options, but just something to keep in mind. I would not say this is an everyday bag, even the larger size. I would not say it's an everyday bag. I'd say it's more of the like evening occasion bag. It is very beautiful and well-made. I do think the price is a bit high for what it is, especially being YSL. Um, right now they're reselling pretty good. This bag on resale for like excellent condition, I think was around maybe 1300-ish, maybe 1400. So just a bit off of retail, still a bit of savings. So if it is something you're looking for, I would try looking on some of the pre-loved sites like Rebag to see if you get a little bit of a deal on it. That's always better if you can but will it over a long period of time keep its value? I don't know, probably not the same way like Chanel would or one of the big brands, Hermes, that kind of thing. I think for a while this bag will stay relevant. It's pretty classic. It kind of gives a nod to that vintage feel, but it's also, especially in a more neutral color, gonna be something that people will reach for for a long time. So I do think it's a pretty classic like shape, design, pretty minimal. And so I do think it'll be relevant for a long period of time if it is a bag that you're interested in. But overall, like, will I be purchasing this bag? I don't think so. I just feel like with all the fuss and the fact that it doesn't hold a lot, I just know myself and like my 
um, usage of bags. And I just don't think I would get a ton of use out of a bag like this, especially like for the price. So yeah, that is my quick little kind of first review, first impressions of the YSL bag. If you have any other questions, you could definitely leave it down in the comments. I will be sure to respond. Yeah, I'd love to know what are your thoughts on this bag? And if you do have this bag, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it, how it is to carry day to day, because obviously I haven't used this for a long period of time. This is kind of my first impressions and comparing to other kind of bags I know. So I would love to hear what you guys have to say about it. Leave it down in the comments and make sure to subscribe if you're not already. And until next time, take care.